Hey everyone, it's Alexander the Real Mr. Robinson, and this is my review for Ready or Not, which is a movie that I've been looking forward to ever since I saw the first trailer. The movie follows a woman named Grace, played by Samara Weaving, who is married to a member of this insanely rich family and very old-fashioned family. And in order for her to be fully accepted into the family, they have to play a game. Just any game at all. She doesn't even have to win, but it's just her way of being accepted into the family. And she draws hide-and-seek. So as she goes off to hide, the family members grab these old-school weapons, like an old musket, a crossbow, a huge, ridiculously huge axe, and they go out to hunt her because they have to perform a ritual. And that's not me spoiling anything, that's all in the trailers. I gotta say, I really like the premise of the movie. Ever since I saw that very first trailer, I was like, okay, this is actually very intriguing, and this is a movie that I really want to see. Especially when it comes to this giant sea of mediocrity that we've been having all summer. Even with the stuff that I like, this summer has just not been particularly good, actually. I saw this movie, and it's everything that the trailer gives you. And not only that, it's so much better than you could ever imagine. I walked out of this movie absolutely in love with it. I absolutely love this movie because it truly delivers on exactly what it promises. It's a thriller horror movie with a huge lean on black comedy. When you watch that trailer, there are two moments that tell you immediately that you're not supposed to take this movie all that seriously. The first moment is when one of the relatives is given a crossbow, and rather than asking, what the hell are we doing, he asks, how old is this thing? The second moment is when the maid gets shot in the face, and one of the family members responds by saying, Oh, Jesus, you shot the maid. Does it look like she's wearing a white wedding gown? So at that moment, like, if you go into this movie expecting something super serious, then uh, you went to the wrong movie. Because Ready or Not is the true definition of black comedy. But it's not 100% a comedy. When it has to be scary, when it turns into a horror thriller, it does those elements incredibly well. There are moments in this movie where you are on the edge of your seat, or you're just kind of grossed out by some of the scenarios going on. But when it has to be funny, it's very, very funny. I honestly laughed at this movie more than I did at Good Boys, and I think there were even a few points where I was the loudest guy in the theater. That should tell you something right there. Your lead actress in the movie is Samara Weaving, who, yes, is related to Hugo Weaving. She's his niece. I haven't seen her in anything else. I know she was in that McG movie, The Babysitter, but she's really good in this movie, and I love how her personality changes as the movie goes on. Because she's obviously being hunted by these psychotic family members, she goes from happy-go-lucky and enthusiastic about getting married into a wealthy family to being scared to death and then eventually leading to fuck all this, I'm retaliating, I'm defending myself. And she is just so good in this movie. The other cast members are great as well, and the characters that they each play all have their moments. Two of my other favorite characters in this movie are the crazy aunt. You see it in the trailer, and you'll know immediately who she is. <laughs> and then there's another character in this movie who's completely ditzy and a little clumsy. And again, if you've seen the trailer, you know who that character is. Like I said before, this movie does have horror elements to it. And the gore and violence is very well done as well. They do not hold back. And like I said before, there are moments that make you really cringe, especially in the middle of the movie. The middle is when it just goes full-blown horror, almost like it's something out of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And the kills are marvelous, and not only that, they are hilarious. Again, this movie blends black comedy and horror so well, and neither genre outweighs the other. When I got out of this movie, the first thing I thought to myself was, I love this movie, but is there anything that I didn't like about it? And to be honest, I can't think of a single flaw in this movie. I mean, if I were to point out something, it's that maybe there were a few points where the camera was just too shaky when it comes to some of these chase scenes. But outside of that, uh, if that's the only complaint I have, then this is a damn near perfect movie. Again, it's not meant to be taken seriously at all. If you go into this thinking that it's going to be a straight-up horror movie, then you are doing yourself a disservice. 
But more importantly, you are doing yourself a disservice if you do not go out and see this movie. And that's what I'm going to say right now. Get off your ass and go see this movie right now. This is easily in my top three favorite movies this year. And I'll be shocked if this movie ends up getting bumped out of the top 10. It's very funny. It's gory. It's inventive. It's got some great cinematography outside of those few moments where the camera just shakes too much. Your lead actress is very good. And the rest of the cast is great as well. This is, again, it's one of my favorite movies of the year, and this is probably the most original movie that you can see right now. If you thought that this summer was just full of mediocrity as well, then this is the movie you're looking for in terms of something that's a genre film. And also, this movie is short. It gets in, doesn't waste any time, there's never a moment where the movie drags, and it ends exactly where it needs to end. And that ending, by the way, I'm wondering if this will be a divisive ending, but for me, I thought the ending was just glorious. I won't say what it is, but that was just the perfect capper to an otherwise awesome movie. And that's my review for Ready or Not. Now I want to know what you guys think about the movie. If you've seen it, what did you think? Whatever the case may be, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, I hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and of course leave a comment. Don't forget to support my Patreon page, follow me on social media, and until next time, this is the real Mr. Robinson telling you there's only one.